Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets and welcome to this micro nugget discussing Sprint Backlog. The Sprint Backlog, typically associated with Scrum project delivery, identifies all of the stories, the pieces of work, the business functionality that's going to be delivered in a Scrum Sprint, in a two to four week development cycle. So what is a story? What's going to happen in the sprint? A sprint ready story is a piece of business functionality where the business has completed the description of the work of the requirements that's going to be done. The acceptance criteria, the measurement that the business is going to apply to determine whether or not the story is complete has been done. The story has been estimated. So we know how much work, typically in something called a story point, of the effort required to complete the work, to complete the story has been done, and the product owner has prioritized these stories, and the highest priorities have been assigned to, to the sprint and are now on the sprint backlog. The sprint backlog is typically a very physical representation, i.e. it's something posted visibly within your project workspace. I often describe it as a cork board, but often it is a complete wall within your project workspace, which would be set up in, in a structure such as this. The key is to identify the stories that need to be worked on the stories that are in progress, and the stories that are done. During your sprint planning process, the resources pick on the stories they're going to work on. So during planning, resource number one said, I'm going to work on story number one. So that gets assigned to resource number one's to-do area. Resource number two, we remove it from up here. Resource number two says, I really like the sound of story number three. I'm going to work on that. It gets removed. Resource number three says, I really like the sound of number five. I'm going to work on that one. And finally, resource number four simply says, I like story number six and begins or expects to do the work on that. Work begins. This was the initial plan. We still have two stories to be assigned. That's fine. We'll assign them later. Or we could assign them at, at this point in time as well. It's really, again, the choice of the team. Once they get the initial assignment, they can also go through and say, I'll also plan to work on story number two. And resource number three says, and when I'm done this one, I'll work on number four. So we declare the sprint started and the work moves over to the in progress. So resource number one begins working on that one. Resource number two begins working on that one and so on as we go down the process. And the team begins to do the work on the stories. But at this point in time, resource number one identifies that he or she has done all of the work that their skill set is going to allow them to do on story number one. Story number one is not yet complete. Raises their hand in the daily scrum and says, I can't complete the story. Who has the skills? Who has the capacity to do that? Resource number two says, I'll take that on. So we could either move it back to their to-do area or move it directly to the in progress. And the other team members begin to continue to work on that. Resource number three says, I'm done on number five, moves it over to the done area and moves four over to begin to work on it. Work continues. Resource number one says, I'm now ready to start working on number two. Work continues another day, another two days. Resource number two completes work on that one, moves it over to the done, picks up the number one, moves it over and continues to work on that. And as the sprint progresses, each of the team members completes their work until the point in time where they're all sitting over in the done area. And the sprint is going to be declared complete. This completes our discussion on the sprint backlog. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you very much for viewing.